Hi, my name is Kaylee. Uh, this is my floss tube channel, and I am finally doing a whip parade. <clears throat> um, I don't have a carpet currently because we still haven't put the house back together after Christmas. We took up the carpet because we had, we had like over 30 people, so everyone was eating in this room and white carpet and food seemed like a recipe for disaster. We still haven't put it down. Um, Christmas was amazing. We had a great time. And then sort of all of us like fell apart after Christmas and all got various illnesses, but we're all better now. Yay. Happy 2024. Cautiously optimistic for this year. Um, but yay, whip parade. Long overdue. I didn't have time to like write notes or anything. So I have hopefully all my whips and we'll just be surprised together. We'll see it and talk about it and make fake plans. Although I have a few set plans. Yeah. Um, so, so we'll just dive in. I don't, I'm just gonna pick, gonna pick anything. So there will be reaching. All right, first, first, okay, first we have Beauty Will Save the World, artwork by Adrian Borda, charted by Unconventional Cross Stitch. So, okay, I'm not going to put like, I'm not going to say my year goal, um, but Carla from Stitch Me Sane, we're going to do a uh, hashtag UXS28. How does that work if it's 29 this year? 29 days in February. Anyways, February, I'm just going to work on unconventional cross stitch pieces. So beauty will get worked on soon. I was hoping last year to get her to... 50%, she's not, she's at 40 something. So this year I had hoped for 75%, but let's, let's just see. Let's just see. She looks amazing. Can't wait to get this side filled in, but I think I'm gonna get to her other eye. Next, I can't resist. She's gorgeous. So yeah, I wonder what that is. Is it going to be UXS29? Or is it, what is that hashtag going to be? I guess I will look that up. Okay, so one. Am I keeping, I'm probably not going to keep count. All right, what do we have next? If I don't have um, printed images, I will pop them up on the screen. Okay, so Hercule Poirot. I love these pieces. Oh, they are fantastic travel stitching. I'm doing, this is one of the few full cross pieces that I am doing on 18 count. Two over one full cross. Poirot is absolutely, well, Suchet's Poirot is uh, one of my favorite shows ever. Absolutely. Hundreds and hundreds of hours I've spent watching those episodes. Fantastic. Okay, so that is still my travel travel stitching that's the plan still okay another unconventional oh something stuck okay another unconventional cross stitch that I'll work on in February this is peppermint Cthulhu I am really sorry I can't remember the name but someone finished her 
if maybe you can comment down below so I can add it to the notes if you know who it is. Oh, it's gorgeous finished. It's so fantastic. So fantastic. So I gave her a tiny bit of love one day during the break. Ha, ah, break. Okay. Um, There she is. She's so beautiful. It's so funny though, if you see oops, like where her eyes are, like I know it'll all balance out because she's gorgeous in the mock-up. But like there's the top of her hair. I mean, I wear my hair up high. But look where her eyes are. That's that's like cone head. That's a beehive. That's That's legit hair right there. It's a lot of hair. I just wonder what that must be like. Would your head like, would you get a very strong neck? It must bobble for the first, first little bit. Anyway, so that's how wide she's going to be. Yeah, she's looking, she's looking good. So I'll work on her in February as well. I do have some plans. More than I thought going into this year. It's like, I'm just going to stitch whatever I want, whenever I want. But I can't. I, I like having some goals that I keep. Okay, what do we have next? Okay. We had, oh. I think this is my only paid now after finishing Porgon. This I started with Carlos, Staples and Stitches, I'm almost sure. Um, it's a Bob Duchet. I keep hoping Cade will put more of his artwork up so I can buy more and somehow get them all finished. But, oh, she's gorgeous. I started with a little Shriner monkey, Shriner monkey there. No goals this year for this piece. Something fell. Why is it always so scary when something you hear something fall? Okay, there's my little Shriner monkey. This piece is huge too. This piece is absolutely huge. I love all the colors, but maybe if there's a Paid, I don't know, if there's some, I don't know. I have no plans for this one. No plans. What the heck is that? It's the washer. Okay. No plans for that. Next. Ooh. Next is my long dog. So this piece is pandemic. I don't have the cover page for anymore, I guess. And I'm conflicted with this piece. I love this piece. I only want to have one long dog on at a time. But Saga is absolutely stunning. So I keep going back and forth if I should just... This is one that is camera shy too. Um, I keep going back and forth if I should pause. Oh no, this lighting, it's actually. Pause on this. I know you can't see it. Um, and try Saga. Oh, that piece is so gorgeous. But then, is it my god or something no uh a new one just came out as well and it's not as big as saga and it is stunning as well so now i'm very conflicted i don't really like the idea of ufoing i don't know why it's silly because if you're not enjoying it you're not going to stitch it on it 
It's just I have so many other pieces on the go. I don't notice I'm not stitching this. You know what I mean? But I don't know why I can justify having multiple of other um, other designers pieces on the go, but I for some reason only want to have one long dog. Okay, next next is I think I have two in here. Okay, this is vintage Halloween carousel. Witchy Stitcher. I will try to put the hashtag, excuse me, down below. Love, love, love the colors on this one. Started at the bottom. So this is another full cross 18 count yeah 18 count two over one full cross love it it's it's one of those counting ones you're not doing full coverage these ones that aren't they are hard to do i don't know what it is it's like you don't really have to count with full coverage i feel like when you get some stitches in because I guess I cross country and you get like those base stitches in and you just work off those you're not there's not so much counting because you're just counting like a few off those base ones you have down I don't know if that makes sense I just find I don't FFO as much with full coverage as I do with non and then we have of the cover page. Maybe I can show you the chart because it's a free it's a free um, it's a free pattern from Night Spirit Studio Blood Moth. This is another Sal and This is the only time I'm used, I've used, what is this floss called? This demonic floss. Um, you know, the crispy stuff. It's not Krynic, but it's one of those type. Well, it's so hard, but the sparkle is so, the sparkle you can't see is very, it's very pretty. One of the reds is an, um, Roxy floss, and then the rest are DMC. It was the Roxy floss from Stitch North last year. Oh, Stitch North is coming up so soon. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Okay, so that's both that are in this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. All right, I'm sorry. Let's see here. Ooh. Okay, so another piece that I'm going to be working on next month, Solstice, artwork by Christopher Lavelle. Um, charted by Unconventional Cross Stitch. I'm working up on that parrot. There's a few people making a lot of progress on this piece, it looks so good. So I, instead of going down, I think I'm gonna go across. Just, I might not though, because I don't have, I was just doing so many not colorful stitches last year. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna go work towards that other parrot get some color instead of working on her but now maybe i'll work towards her face because how pretty is she she's gorgeous she's so pretty so we'll see 
figure that out next month. I think I have five unconventional cross stitch, so like five days. I don't know. Why am I? I don't know why I have to plan things when I'm making videos. A few days will be given to solstice in February. Alrighty. So that's eight. Okay, this is a tiny, oops. This is a tiny, tiny, tiny start. I finished foregone and I needed to start things. So here we have Dear Francis by the amazing Troy Brooks. I think there's like 62 colors in this and I think there's just like four of the pinks of DMC not used. This is very pink. How? Oh, God. And he has these other, for when I finish this colossal piece, um, these mug shots. This is my start. I just did a stitch with me and did like a couple hundred stitches in the bottom. Um, I'm in love with this piece, though. I don't know what the plans are. But she's gonna get some love. Ha. Ha. Amazing. Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine makes such bags. Such beautiful bags. Ooh, okay. Here we have another phenomenal piece of work Underwater Carnival by Laura Colors. And I started here. She's not going to be, or there, this piece isn't super huge. Because I am not stitching all that black around the outside. I'm not exactly sure how I will do that. Maybe it'll be. How would I frame that? I'm not sure. Cross that bridge when we get there. So no plans exactly for this piece either. It's a nice colorful piece. So when I need some color, I can... I have some nice colorful pieces now. I'm so happy about that. It's getting a bit browned out there for a bit. Ooh, I have hopes for this piece because Carla, Stitch Me Satan, she does it. I know other people do it too. They like stitch outlines and then you can just block like color complete in where you've stitched. So you don't really have to have your tablet you know you can just have your stitching and get some decent stitches in and this piece has serious amount of block stitching so a goal sorry um is to outline a bunch of stuff maybe this will be a trial i don't know and get some get some stitches in on this because i just outline a bunch of stuff like see i've started just fill all of the, that 310 in and all of whatever color that is and the orange halo. There'll be good progress. So that that's a big plan for this year. Oh, name, artist. Okay. This is 21st century artwork by Ramona Nordell. Another Toronto artist. Troy Brooks is Toronto too. So. I'm once again, I keep wanting to be in the um, games I think Facebook has you know, challenges and stuff like that. But one, I like don't get how to use Facebook very well. And then two, um, 
is it full coverage that has most of them? And then I try to ditch the background on all of my pieces, so I, I don't think I qualify because I've removed the background. So I'll just make my own my own games. Okay. Next we have Charm of Hummingbirds. Uh, charted by Contemporary Cross, artwork by Little Fish Designs. Gorgeous. Don't have any plans for her either. Unless I see something that comes up. I need to grid this fabric. That would make my life a lot easier. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh. So, I don't know either if I'm going to keep working on her or go off and do another little bird. So many choices. So many choices. She's fantastic. But again, no plans this year for her. Oh man, the itchy nose. Okay, so... Oh, there's my long dog. I, what? Okay, found that cover page. All right. Next. So this is for... I don't know why this freezes sometimes, so I will have to put that together. Okay, so this is for my eldest daughter, Stella, Christmas 2025. So it is Pisces. She's a Pisces. Um, artwork by Camilla De, De Rico, De Rico. She's a BC artist. Oh, I love her. So anyone interested in her work on her website, you can buy a tattoo token and then you can chart any of her pieces for yeah, personal use. That's what I did. And I have like the tiniest of starts. But this is, this will, maybe I'll put in a few stitches on her birthday or something like that, or in March, but this is definitely a 2025 focus. So because, um, I unfortunately don't have the cover page, so I will include it here for Ivy's Christmas present this year. So every month, except this month, I will be working on this piece to have it finished for Christmas for her. And this is, and she lived happily ever after. Artwork by Gina Fliegor. And like Stella got the plot twist, which is the frog, the princess and the frog. And this is Beauty and the Beast interpretation. And then Stella's getting the Camilla Pisces, and Ivy will get the Cancer Pisces, or Cancer Camilla piece in 2026. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going and giving them cross stitch artwork until they are, I don't know. I think they'll appreciate it. I hope so. I mean, if not, I'll keep them. Okay, next. Maxine Gads, Catalina. May will be Maxine May again. I forget what we decided the hashtag was, but it'll be that again. And she'll get love in May. Yay! Finally, this flower will get finished. But this piece is like the same idea as uh, the Ramona. Uh, the 21st century like I just have to outline and it's a lot of just fill in 
So that that's a big thing I'm gonna do this year, do a lot of pieces. Outline, outline and fill in. All right, but that flower is almost, look how big that flower is. This piece, this piece is no joke. And I'm still deleting the background as I go. There is on the website a smaller version of her available with the background removed. All right. Okay, this piece, I don't know, I have to talk to the with it stitcher. If, oh, well, I'm going to work on it next month. That's right. It's my unconventional cross stitch. Okay, so no place like home. Artwork by Echo Chernick. Try by unconventional cross stitch. This is a mini blanket. So I started in the middle and I think I'm going to work down, get to the owl wing or move over to the owl. I don't know. Again, I a lot of outlining could get done and block stitching could get done. This is a lot of 939, an insane amount of 939. Look how pretty it is. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing. So yeah, so she, they'll, she'll, they'll get some love next month. Alright. Ooh, it's getting a good pile going on. Alright. What is next? Oh! oh my gosh, I haven't given... My Sophie Wilkins, sorry. Any love for a long time. I have no plans. Sophie Wilkins, her art. And then she just keeps putting out more. And I'm like, oh, I still love this one. I'm absolutely in love with this one. But I don't know. Painted the halo because I wasn't sure. It would stitch up. Oh, it's so pretty. Getting down to her face. Finally here. So, yep, no plans. No plans. I was talking to Beth, well, yeah. Um, Beth, my author, Beth is... What is your name? Like, your name's Amanda, but you're... Anyways, I know you explained that to me. But, um, she was going to have a wall of kind of creepy women. I'm going to have a wall of women with things in their hair or on top of their head. I know Carla's got her wow wall. I don't know why I have so many women with things in their hair. It's interesting. That was my... Beast. Okay. Ooh, see? Now there. I bet she has stuff in her hair too. Yeah, yeah, she does. She has stuff in her hair. Okay. Dark Blossom. Alexand by artwork by Alexandra Gallagher. Um Do I have plans for her? I don't think I have plans for her either. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. This is 18 count, four over one tent stitch. Oh, she's so pretty. I feel like I haven't seen so many of my whips for so long because December was so ham on finishing four gone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So hopefully she gets some stitches in. Hopefully because I don't have a ton of plans, I will touch all of the whips many, many times.
Oops, sorry. All right. Oh god, this one's huge. Okay, this one, I need to find time to put some serious stitches in on. I would like to get it to 20,000 stitches before Stitch North in Trivita Valley. Um, I am really trying to get to the Canadian flag. Oh, you really have to see this out. There's Anna and Elsa. Anyways, okay, so here's where we are. This is a true blanket. This is going to be like it 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 would fit a twin bed comfortably. So Yay. You can kind of see Charlie Brown coming in here. At thirteen thousand stitches now. Thirteen and We'll see. It's it's getting cold. I mean, it's not as cold as Alberta, but it's getting cold. And well, we really thought we were gonna get the weather. The weather forecast. We really thought it was gonna get cold. My husband decided to build a skating rink, not a normal size. It's like Olympic size. It took four water trucks to fill. We're looking at the weather. Okay, this is now. It's gonna be perfect because. Said it was going to be super cold and not a lot of snow and suddenly this like warm fronts come. Not warm, but oh, what? it's like freezing rain warm though and snowing. So now so I don't even know. I don't even know. That's a hit him problem, but hoping to get very fit from using the skating rink every day just to get the money worth also my daughter's birthday like mid end of March <laughs> I think we're gonna make her have her birthday beginning of March just to make it a skating party <laughs> to use the rink for that as well anyways okay side note finally my first Medusa doll maker I am ditching the background how gorgeous is she? She's got a lot of patterns on Etsy now. I bought like half of them. But the colors of this one were calling me to start. So a tiny start again. When I finished Gorgon in like December, I just needed to start things. Oh, it's one of these situations I don't know which way's up. Uh, I think it's that way. Oh, you can't even see. There's like stitches there. You can't even see. They actually are pretty hard to stitch on this fabric. Her green face is not going to be. What I thought would be so lovely to stitch is going to be hard. The black and the pink will be way, way easier. But. That's fine. And then the other new start is Fiona Hewitt Adoration of Peaches. Oh my goodness. How <laughs> I love this sort of kitsch. I always want at auctions those like creepy porcelain. But they're not creepy. They're like you're a bit like, oh, but like can't stop looking at them. Right? This is like the weirdest, cutest thing ever. It was hard to s decide which one of her pieces I wanted to do because there were smaller ones. And if I was smart, I would do a smaller one. But this one kept calling to me. So that's where we're at. I started with the kittens. Oh. Some of her, I bought her fabric off Etsy. To make project bags, and some of those are in the shop. As a FYI, I'm so behind on all of that stuff. I'll make a proper announcement. Okay, this I need to print a picture. Here is the picture, hopefully. 
And this needs to be finished. Well, it was supposed to be finished for Boxing Day this year, last year. And I burnt out from foregone. I like actually didn't stitch for after December much. But the recipient, so he turned one on Boxing Day. But his brother's birthday is the end of January. We're going to that birthday party. And I'll just give this at that birthday party. I am sure he will not mind. It's to go, like his brother got the baby grizzly bear and he's going to get the baby polar bear and it's supposed to be like a birth announcement it's just going to have his first name the date and the weight is that what i did last time it's going to be this it's going to match his brothers i can't remember but yeah he's come along northern lights or aurora borealis fabric so he's at almost 40% now. And that's me that's what I'm working on in January. Which is why every other month I'm touching on Ivy's bell. Um, and she lived happily ever after. I'll have to do the math. Probably gonna be like five thousand stitches, something like that, every month to finish hers. And then in June, I'm last year, I met Sarah from, uh, I swear I'm stitching or on Instagram, she's eat my oxygen and we're doing a gift exchange as like, remember we met in June. <laughs> so I still, I mean, I have some ideas of what I'm going to do, but that's the only solid finish so polar bear will be finished this year sarah's gift and then ivy's christmas gift and that's all i'm finishing i'm not stressing out i stressed myself out three finishes isn't bad i mean it's no full coverage but the uh ivy's birthday presents like sixty thousand stitches the polar bears forty thousand stitches so that's not that's not tiny. Ugh. So this piece, I wanted to get to 20% last year, and I didn't. She's at like 13%. So I don't know. I want her at 20%, because I told myself when she was at 25%, I could start another Ray Caesar. So this is Ray Caesar's Bubbles, another Toronto artist. And there's another piece of his I really want to start. That's I'm not starting until this is at 25%. So I need to get a move on. Again with this, there's a lot of block stitching, so I want to like block it out. And then I I don't have to be like stuck with the tablet. Also, because it's like like red all the way down on Pattern Keeper, it's like it's annoying, right? You gotta like scroll, you, as in scroll up. So just block stitch it out. So, okay. All right. So this bubble is almost finished. This is starting to be the building. Here is the top of her head that goes down there. That is very exciting. I cannot wait to get to her face. Um, oh, I can't really see. Okay. No, I'll go this way. Okay, so there's her... Oh, dear. Jeez Louise. Okay, so there's her overalls. There's going to be... Can you see the little detail on her sweater? I don't know what... Is this Norwegian stitching or knitting? Something like that, I think. Or Fair Isle? I don't know. Um, going on here. And then at the bottom we have one of the flowers, the porcelain flowers that are on her lap. That'd be cute to get all of those done. I fit I like color completed like 20 colors right there. It was awesome. So we got the other ones done. But a ton of block stitching with the red and the black. Eight. 
8.14, My Catalina's all 8.14, 8.15 too. So I do want to get her to 20%. There you go. I stopped counting how many whips. Whoops. I stopped at what, eight? Okay. All right. So, last two. Another unconventional cross stitch, which we'll get some love next month. Alice in Wonderland, artwork by Adrian Borda. Interpreted by unconventional cross stitch. So. She does not have a lot of block stitching. Oh my gosh, it's a rabbit. I think I'll work, I'll just keep working on the eye. I like, I like me a Borda eye. So, I'm not gonna move, move the Q-snap. This is the only piece I have in the Q-snap. My Grime Guards from the Caesar. She's Sar, the Sar, I meant, not Caesar, I apologize. Um. Do I have to take, is that okay to leave in here? It's been like a year. Or should I move it? I mean, I put, anyways, I don't know. Maybe I should move it. But I like seeing the rabbit, so I don't really want to move it. So next month, she'll get some love. It's good, 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 good. And last, but not least, this piece needs some love as well. Oceana by Z Anna Cross Stitch. I'm working over here. I this is the first piece I started in cross stitching, and I was doing two over one full cross, but I am changing it to four over one. I need to see a wash. It's smelly. It's smelly. And there's a stain. Not that it matters on full coverage. So, no plans except that Alicia from. Why did you suddenly like brain fart? Adventures of Stitching? I think I'm right. She has the like oldest whip Wednesdays or something like that. So maybe I'll join some Wednesdays. Also, of course, want to do, oh man. I also want to do one of the pieces like um, a thread a day or whatever, but I never seem to be able to stick with that. Okay, so. That's my whip parade. Sorry, it was a bit unorganized. It's the only way I saw it getting completed. Um, yeah, those are all my whips. I don't know. Uh, there might be a few more new starts. I have to pick the one for Sarah. And I'll do recommendations and all that sort of stuff in the next floss too. We'll just keep this basic for now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.